Meanwhile, those in the valley may have experienced some side effects of the unhealthy air due to the smoke from the fire blowing this way. 8 News Now reporter Brian Will joins us live to explain how air quality is measured. Hey, Brian. Hey, Ted, you know, it going from almost zero visibility to clear skies here today, the air quality here in the valley has changed drastically over just this last week. And I stopped by one of those air quality monitoring stations to see how they do it. With the fire as close as the York fire down there, we're seeing some of the larger particles here too that we don't usually see that much. Senior meteorologist and monitoring tech Paul Francioli and his staff of 15 at the Clark County Department of Air Quality have had a busy week monitoring air quality at 18 stations while the York fire burns. Monitoring the conditions of the, of the fires ourselves, it, it, um, it's a challenge. Some of the fire data is so rapidly evolving. They measure more than just particles in the air. Other devices they have at these stations measure solar radiation, temperature, relative humidity, air pressure, precipitation, and wind. These sensors are, are, are very uh, finely attuned to sense these things, and then those signals get processed and averaged and reported. And, and um, that, that's the basic fundamental way that they work. All this data can be seen by the public in real time on their website. It's something they get a lot of questions about. When people can't see the mountains, you hear from people. What's wrong with the air quality? Well, there is something wrong with it because now you can see it. When the air quality index gets above 50, it can start affecting your health. We would uh, forecast worse air quality and put out, a, out, a, out an advisory about it. If it gets high enough, we'd even put out an alert. Stations like this one at Jerome Max Middle School in the Southeast Valley are constantly going. Getting good basic coverage and just letting it run all the time uh, provides us with a very clear picture of what the air quality is. They don't just monitor air quality, they also help keep it clean with an enforcement section. Because it matters to people's health. Now the air quality here in the Las Vegas Strip right now is at about 10, but just two days ago because of the York fire, it was into the 120, which is unhealthy for sensitive groups. Reporting live near the Las Vegas Strip, Brian Will, 8 News Now. UNLV also uses this air quality station for special research projects. They have one up and running measuring for pollutants and pollen at the site you saw there. You can find out how to see these air quality numbers in real time over at 8newsnow.com.